العالم بيقف كايرو دار النهارده هنتكلم عن الهيومن ريسبيراتوري سيستم ذا هيومن ريسبيراتوري سيستم ستارت وذ ذا نوز اند وي انديرستاند ذات ذا ريسبيريشن ثرو نوز بيتر ذان ذات ثرو ماوس بيكوز اوف ذا بريسنس اوف هير انسايد ذا نوز تو فلتر ذا هير ذا اير اند اولسو ديو تو ذا بريسنس اوف ذا بلاد كابيلاريز ذات وورم ذا نيو انكومينج اير اند ذا بريسنس اوف ميوكاس تو مويست ذا اير So the respiration through nose better than that through mouth. But the nose leads to the pharynx. The pharynx as a common organ between the uh, digestive system and the respiratory system because it acts as the, or leads to two cavities. One of them allow the food to get inside the esophagus and the other allow the air to get inside the trachea. The upper part of the trachea is called larynx or the uh, uh, voice box. The voice box containing the Uh, voice cords or the two voice cords uh, which are called the vocal cords and the uh, larynx leads to the trachea what about the structure and the adaptation of the trachea the trachea is supported by incomplete cartilaginous rings the cartilaginous rings to keep the trachea open all the time uh, and also the trachea containing the cilia that to move the foreign substance which may get with the air inside the trachea and reject them outside the body. The trachea is divided into two branches, each get inside one of the two lungs. So the trachea is divided into two branches, each get inside one of the two lungs, and inside the lungs, the trachea divided into two bronchi, the bronchi divided into bronchioli, each bronchiolus uh, end with the alveolus. The alveola with the alveoli with the very thin membrane. Each lung consists of 600 million alveola, alveoli and the, the alveoli act as uh, the actual respiratory service so exchange of gases takes a place between the blood inside the blood capillaries which act as a huge number of blood capillaries around the, each alveolus and the exchange of gases takes a place by the uh, carbon dioxide get out from the blood and the oxygen get into the blood The exchange of gases takes place between the blood inside the blood capillaries and the very thin layer of water that lines the alveoli internally. So the uh, exchange of gases takes place through the membrane or the very thin membrane of the alveoli. The great number of alveoli that increase the surface area of exchange gases. But what about the mechanism of respiration? The mechanism of respiration that takes place by two steps, inhalation and exhalation. What about the two, the difference between two steps? In the figure that appear in the screen, that is the uh, uh, difference between the inspiration or inhalation and the exhalation. And during the inhalation, the diaphragm contract and move downward. The intercostal muscles contract so the ribcage move upwards and outside. That increase the chest cavity and that decrease the pressure inside the lungs so the air get inside the lungs during the inhalation. But during the exhalation, the diaphragm relax upwards. The intercostal muscles relax and the ribcage move downwards and inside. That increase the pressure of inside the lungs so that allow the air to get out from the lungs. So if you compare between the uh, inspiration and expiration or inhalation and exhalation the points of comparison is the intercostal muscles that contract during the inspiration but relax during the exhalation the diaphragm contract during the inspiration and relax during expiration the ribcage move upwards during the inhalation but exhalation that move downward the size of the thoracic cavity increased during the inspiration but increased during the exhalation So the air during the inspiration get inside the lungs, during the exhal inha exhalation, the air move outside the lungs. But during the exchange of gases, 10% of the air only can exchange it that because the rest of the air inside the lungs that to help in warming the new incoming air and also that protects the alveoli against collapse. What about the excretory function of the respiratory system? Respiratory system also act as a excretory system because about half liter of water get out through the uh, respiratory system. Uh, the human body getting rid excess amount of water equal 2.5 liters per day. 
have little get out during the exhalation from the lungs, but also the lung is responsible for the getting rid the carbon dioxide during the exhalation. So it acts as the excretory organ uh, that to ex excrete the amount of carbon dioxide and also the volatiles of the spices get out from the human body through the lungs during the exhalation. So the respiratory system also act as an excretory system because it getting rid the excess amount of water about half liter per day and also the carbon dioxide get out from the body through the lungs and the volatiles of the spices get out from the body uh, uh, through the respiratory system or the lungs. That's the end of this part, my dear students. Thank you very much. Goodbye and good luck.